It's better than quercetin. What could it be? Let's talk about it right now. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Ask Dr. Pickell Show, where we help people find answers to their chronic health conditions, chronic health problems. All right, so we talked about quercetin in a previous video, actually just today. So if you haven't watched that, I would recommend it because a lot of benefits from quercetin. I'm hearing a lot about quercetin from patients and people in the public that are saying, hey, what about quercetin? So uh, I want to talk um, about something in this video that is more powerful than quercetin that I feel is um, is like quercetin on steroids or quercetin supercharged, probably like I put on the uh, title there. All right. So what is this? What is this uh, thing that uh, you're talking about here, Dr. Pakel? All right. So um, I think that's a little better or maybe this. All right. So it's called luteolin. Luteolin, um, kind of similar to quercetin in many, many ways, but a little more powerful, again, I would say, and does some more things. So luteolin is also a um, flavonoid, and uh, it's got some neat properties in it. Where do you find it? Apples, cabbage, carrots, green peppers, um, celery, dandelion leaves, and then also in some teas, um, rosemary, chamomile, oregano, peppermint tea, and, um, you know, when you eat and drink these things, we're going to talk about what you'll really get from that in comparison to supplementation. But luteolin is, is really pretty amazing. Oops, I scrolled a little far. All right. So what does it do? Well, if you watched our video on quercetin, you'll see some of these similar things show up. But on luteolin, you'll see the list is a little longer. Number one, it is. It's an extremely potent um, antioxidant. And again, just as I talked about in the question video, what is an antioxidant? What the heck does that mean? Cause you hear that term antioxidant on bottles and on commercials and on things, but what does that mean? So oxidant or oxidation is like rust. It's, it's, uh, if you look, look and see, uh, a rust on a car, it's, it's the metal's breaking down. It's aging. It's something's accelerating that though. And the same thing happens in our human body. When we are exposed to toxins, infections, inflammation, chemicals, it causes us to age faster than we should. Our cells get destroyed faster. They break down faster. And it really starts to affect us externally and internally. And that's not a good thing. Now, again, there's no way to avoid all of that except for using antioxidants, which help to quench these oxidants and get them under control so they don't age us and destroy us as quickly. All right, anti-inflammatory. So everybody needs some anti-inflammatory if they've got especially a chronic condition, chronic health problem, autoimmune condition. We need something to help decrease the fire in the house, even though inflammation has an important side too. Now, this is a really interesting one, anti-heart disease. So when it comes to the heart, luteolin has been shown to have uh, extreme effects in helping to protect heart cells and um, keep them healthy. So very interesting there. Anti, that's one that uh, very interesting um, and uh, important. And then a powerful antihistamine. We saw this with quercetin also, but um, also luteolin has a very powerful antihistamine effect. Many people just take it to keep allergies more under control. Now, this is also uh, interesting that we won't see really with the quercetin is this whole effect here. There are many studies showing how uh, luteolin helps with these asthmatic type symptoms, not only helping to reduce that mucus that gets in the airway, but also acts as a bronchodilator and um, helps with uh, these, these asthma symptoms. And then you couple that with the antihistamine. Wow, pretty decent effects there. And this is a great one. And there's a lot of research here with luteolin in brain type pathology, brain type issues, not only 
brain fog. I mean, Ludi Olin is like, if you got brain fog, Ludi Olin's pretty darn great. Um, but also, there's been studies with this, with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, um, autism. Very interesting uh, to see its effects, its positive effects. And then anti-eczema. So this can even help on the skin side. It's also an immune modulator. We saw that with, with um, uh, quercetin also. It does. This helps to kind of keep your immune system a little more in balance and inhibit some of those really inflammatory um, immune system cytokines. And then antimicrobial, this one also you'll hear more about because just like Kristen, you're hearing, hearing a lot about with virus type um, issues out there. Well, luteolin can do really the, the same thing. If not, I would say even better and help to fight the bad guys. And then another interesting effect, anti-UV induced damage. So if you go out and you lay in the sun and you get burnt, that's ultraviolet damage. That's radiation burn is what it is from the sun. Uh, so if you have ultraviolet induced damage, yeah, luteolin can help um, not only prevent, but hopefully repair. So pretty neat stuff. And again, a, a little longer list. And, and I would say, again, a bigger effect uh, in many, many ways, especially as you read the research on it. Then, like I said, I feel it is better than quercetin overall. And what do you need to take? So on average, you know, most doses are about 100 to 200 milligrams. Um, again, it's always important to ask your doctor and especially if you're on medications on what and how much you take of anything. And then it does, it's got a half-life, meaning it lasts in your system for about five hours or less. So, you know, when people, let's say they have allergies, um, they're going to take this, hey, hey, it wore off, I'm going to take it again. And then you'll start to get a timing for it, know how long it really kind of lasts. And it's interesting because if you do get it from those foods I talked about earlier, the diet or even the herbal teas, yikes, you're only getting about one milligram per day. And that's really if your diet's really good. When people are eating a lot of processed foods uh, and, and not a great diet with hardly any fruits and vegetables, it's less than one milligram. I mean, that's not much at all. So this isn't something that the human body gets very much of unless you're supplementing. So, and again, it can have some uh, pretty major positive effects. All right. So uh, luteol, and actually there's a few more benefits than this. But I just want to let everybody know, because, again, I'm getting a lot of questions about, hey, do I take quercetin? Is quercetin good for me? Yeah, I think quercetin can be good, but I think luteolin can be better. All right. Everybody uh, have a wonderful day. God bless. And I hopefully you got some uh, great uh, information out of this. Thank you.